Australia's latest environment school card to be released by the, the by Minister Tanya Plibersek today paints a bleak picture of a habitat deteriorating. The minister has called it shocking, promising to change laws. Live now to political reporter Andrew Crothers. What laws is she talking about? Well, she's referring to the Environmental Protection Agency and laws there, though Tanya Pulisic hasn't exactly put a date on that yet. She wants the laws to come in uh, next, will be drafted at least next year. But in terms of this report itself, Laura, this is something which the former government didn't want you to see. It's completed by independent scientists every five years to provide a bit of a snapshot of the state of Australia's environment. So Minister Susan Lee, or the former minister, received it back in December. The government then never released it. That's what Tanya Pulisic will be doing today today, all 2,000 pages of it. So inside it shows that all categories bar urban environments have deteriorated since the last one was done in 2016. And some of those key findings, Australia has lost more mammal species than any other continent. 202 animal and plant species have been added to the threatened list since the last one in 2016. It's also unclear of the exact impact of the black summer bushfires between 2019 and 2020. That's expected to mean that progress on helping already threatened species keep up to date expected to be worsened. Uh, it points to the extremely low levels of the Murray-Darling Basin uh, water throughout 2019, particularly through the impact there of drought and also notes that of the 450 gigalitres promised to be recovered, so returned to the environment from irrigators, only two of those 450 gigalitres have so far been recovered. So, Laura, it also uh, looks at Australia's major cities. They're growing at a faster rate than international counterparts, which is leading to increased things such as pollution, waste and the like. But Tanya Plibersek this morning, she has promised to toughen laws... We do need to change our laws. If we stick with what we're doing now, we'll keep getting the same results, which is an environment in crisis and getting worse. I'm going to consult very widely before, uh, before putting a date on when I want to see an EPA up and running, but I would anticipate uh, that we'll be looking at new environmental laws next year. What about the economy? The Treasurer had some uh, pretty bad news and I thought a, quite a concession yesterday that wages are not going to keep up with inflation for quite some time. So more pain is on the way. It is. Jim Chalmers saying it's going to be getting worse before it gets better when it comes to any real wages growth. This, of course, is because of that skyrocketing inflation. You've then also got uh, rising interest rates. So heavy headwinds, really. We have been warned about this by the Treasurer a number of times. He's been saying he wants to be upfront about the situation Australia is facing, as with many other global economies. But either way, it's bad news for him, a new Treasurer, facing some tough times. The news in that statement will be in many ways confronting when it comes to our expectations of inflation, uh, when it comes to the impact of interest rate rises on growth, uh, when it comes to what this spike in inflation means for real wages, uh, there will be aspects of this ministerial statement that people will find confronting. So the Reserve Bank of Australia, it has updated its forecast recently to say inflation set to hit around 7%. So the Treasurer, he's going to be providing a bit of a his own snapshot, the state of the economy when Parliament returns next week. And the forecast there will adjust to align with that, Laura. Yeah, certainly the, the forecast for inflation is going to go much higher. Andrea, thank you.